Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and today I'm going to be showing you how I made the most adorable Cinderella pumpkin carriage. Now in this video I'm going to be using the products that came in the Sophie and Toffee Cinderella themed box. This isn't an elves box, this is one of their very special quarterly boxes that they do. And the last thing that we had was Disney villains. This one is Disney princesses. And of course it is Cinderella who is the main girl. Now, bear in mind, I haven't actually seen all of Cinderella. Please don't hate me. <laughs> okay, so I wasn't all too familiar with how her pumpkin carriage actually looked, but I kind of just wanted to do my take on it. So I decided to use lots of blues, a few little hints of pink in there as well. I just wanted to make it look as magical as possible. Now, to be honest, after a quick Google, you know, my color choices actually weren't all that off. Um, but yeah, there wasn't really much pink in there, but hey ho, this is my version of the carriage. <laughs> But yeah, you'll see the pink in just a moment. Anyway, so once I had put the uh, Mika powders into the mold, I then mixed together some uh, baby blue pigment, only a tiny little drop though, uh, into the resin along with some beautiful glitters and popped it out. Now this isn't a shiny mold by the way, so when you pop it out, it will come out matte like this. But then all you have to do is just glaze it over and then it will be absolutely fine. Um, then after that, what I decided to do was to um, just use a bit of UV resin on the inside there just to kind of strengthen it a little bit because I don't think that the mold is meant to have the resin go all the way over the top of it like that. I think it's actually supposed to be more of a sort of like open window kind of thing. So that that layer there at the top, it was just a little bit too thin for my liking. So I had to go in and just reinforce that. Next, I took the yellow Mika powder and I just filled in the little crest on the front of the carriage. Bear in mind, Mika powder gets everywhere, as you can see. So do make sure you have a wet wipe handy, but also make sure that you have something to dry it with as well, because you don't want to get any of the residue of wet wipe in your mold because that will just mess up your resin. I really do love this pink Mika powder. It's so, so soft, really, really gentle in color. And the blue one, this isn't like the bluest of blues, but it's like just a very, very faint tint of it. And I think it's just so, so beautiful. And because it was so faint, it meant that it kind of like allowed the blue from the main part of the carriage to really sort of shine through. Um, now for the base of the carriage and for the wheels, I decided to go for the yellowish gold color, um, just because then it would sort of give a nice nod to the crest that's at the front of the carriage remember as well you do need to make four of these wheels so do make sure that you do a second set as well now the first time that I did this I accidentally snapped off those little bits that are on the ends so please do make sure that you're handling it with the most care and you know just be very very gentle with it it will be stronger once you've reinforced it with your crystal gel but yeah just be careful when you're taking them out of the mold Now for me to add some details to the curtains and also to the rims of the carriage, I decided to use my Arteza acrylic markers. These things are so, so cool. And they actually come with spare nibs that also have different tips as well. So you have like a pointy end, a round end, and a chiseled end as well. And their metallic gold is like really metallic. So I thought this would be absolutely perfect to just sort of go around the little borders, the little bits on the end, and also to give the uh, the curtain tie backs just that little bit of royal flair. Um, and then I used the blue one to color in the curtains as well. I did do uh, two 
possibly three coats of this uh, just because I really wanted to make sure that it stood out properly and then I just simply covered them in uh, glittery UV resin just to give them a little bit more extra sparkle. Okay, be honest, you weren't ready for that little beat drop in the music, were you? <laughs> Don't worry, there is another one coming. Um, yeah, so basically I'm just covering everything in the uh, glittery resin just to make sure everything is all nice and sparkly. Attaching your wheels to the base of the carriage can be very, very fiddly, but a little bit of patience is all that you need. <laughs> Just simply put a little, or I say simply, it is very fiddly. But yeah, just put a little dot of resin onto the ends and then very carefully place your wheels against it and cure it as quickly as you can. <laughs> um, and yeah, just try not to let it fall over like I did multiple times. So now I'm just using the crystal gel to dome everything. I really do like this stuff. In fact, I kind of want to get myself some more of it because it's really, really good just for like doming your projects. Um, and yes, my confetti is very strategically placed. Those were some air bubbles that I didn't like the sight of. So I would say to just cover up your mistakes in glitter. Now, how beautiful are these rainbow decals? Oh my goodness, if I had space for all of these, I would have used them. They are so, so gorgeous. So what I did is I flipped the front of the carriage over and then I just added in this really, really beautiful portrait of Cinderella and um, domed the back of it. And it kind of made it look like she was just, you know, riding in the carriage. It, it just sort of gave a bit more life to it, I feel, you know. Um, like I would have put one of the bezels in but the bezels just didn't really fit so I decided to do that instead and I really like the way that it turned out. Um, I used the gold pen to just sort of like outline the chairs as well and just the little like arch around them um, and then I added in the little Cinderella decal here. I just think that they really do accentuate the piece like they are so so pretty. <laughs> I absolutely adore it. So then I had a little stroke of genius and I decided to put little Gus and Jack into the carriage as well because of course they'd be trying to hitch a ride, obviously. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to have a ride in this carriage? Now, when it comes to putting these little bits on, I found that you kind of need to leave a little space in the back just to make sure that your piece actually closes properly because if you kind of like make it flush with it, it's not going to close properly so remember to leave a little bit of space and test it out before you resin it in i found that out the hard way now listen i know that you are expecting me to wear this on my head or as a ring or as a necklace but honey i'm actually going to just keep this as a beautiful ornament because it's too fragile for me to wear anywhere and i want to be able to pick it up and open it up and look at it because i absolutely love it i'm not even the biggest Cinderella fan but even I love this craft and I really hope that you enjoyed it too. If you did enjoy it you already know what I'm gonna say make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss the next video and please do share this one out with a friend if it made you smile. Take care my darlings and I'll see you all soon. Bye!